Howdy. Uh, I was going to make a, just a real quick video on <clears throat> how I caught my boat on fire this past summer and what you can do to avoid it. So I bought a boat used, uh, rewired the whole thing with the exception of this Minn Kota power drive. Uh, as you can see now I have an Altera on here um, because of this. Uh, I uh, <clears throat> was on a lake using my Altera, or excuse me, my power drive, and it stopped working, and then it caught on fire when I tried to get it to work. Uh, why? Because of this. I'll get into that here in a second, but first, here's a video of it burning in my garage. The death of a trolling motor. Damn it. Ah. <coughs> oh, man. So why did it catch on fire? Well, uh, this power drive had leads that went under my decking and then came back up and connected to the battery. They appeared sound when I first got the boat. I did a resistance check and they tested well. What I didn't know is that there was two sections of leads as opposed to one and that the person who owned it before me took the negative cable and just twist tied it with another negative cable and wrapped it in electrical tape. What happened is over time the fittings, or not the fittings, but the brass, copper, the copper uh, oxidized creating a lot of resistance where he had done that improvised connection, that unsat um, connection and it created a lot of resistance on the negative feed. So, heat built up. First, if you look here, you can see where the zip ties that were against the the uh, negative cable itself squashed down and kind of melted into the cable. If you look here, you can look at the uh, copper coming out and you notice it's black. Now this isn't where it was twist tied. This is where I cut further in the line where the actual insulation melted and melted into the entire line. So if I was to cut this apart, the entire bit of this negative cable looks like that. It created so much resistance that my trolling motor caught on fire. Um, this could have been bad if I was on a bigger lake and did not have a battery disconnect switch. I had installed a battery disconnect switch further down the line, closer to the uh, trolling motor just because that's how I like things and by using that disconnect thankfully I stopped my trolling motor from continuing to burn uh, when I hooked it back up in the garage later because I just couldn't find a reason why I hadn't pulled up the deck yet um, I turned it on and that's what you see in that video is it immediately started smoking and uh, that smoke is after I disconnected the power. There was some flames prior to that. So uh, take your electrical connections on your boat serious. I really wish that guy hadn't have uh, half-assed it like he did. Uh, I understand not everybody knows what they're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, just don't do it. Uh, this can burn down your boat. It can injure you um, and others. So I'll get more into how I wired up my trolling motor later and it's actually really neat how I did it and I think you'll appreciate it but there you go it's how I burned down my almost burned down my boat 